The first point of call for the committee was the palace of the Hamabachama. Chairman of the committee, Joseph Sadamu Hobong, retired, intimated the royal father of the work it has set out to do and to particularly recognize the role played by the traditional institution in bringing the recent crisis to an end. Justice Hobong, while promising that the committee will look into the root causes of the crisis, also solicited for the support of the monarch in identifying communities and victims affected. We have taken this assignment seriously. Some of the assignment will demand only reasonable support at reasonable cost or at no cost at all. But in our case, we are seeking this the Royal Highness support in all courts. Responding, the Hamabachama Human Honours Irmia Stephen noted that no society will progress and develop unless under a pitiful atmosphere and advised the committee to rise above any primordial sentiment and discharge its work without any fear or favour, while pledging his support for the actualization of the aims of the committee. So that any person who is living in this kingdom, Hakishinakam, what are we asking for? Let us understand. Let us be the mutual respect. Let us be peace both on equity, not at my own expense or at your own expense. This is humanity. Next was the palace of the Hamabata, Human Alhamdulillah Senteneke, where the chairman, Justice Adam Hobong, again took time to roll out the committee's set out aims and objectives. The Hamabata pledged to support the committee, particularly with information that is critical to its work. My people and my district heads will be alerted and I will inform them and give them the instructions that they should give you the maximum support that you desire. Governor Muhammad Maru Jibrilla had on 13 December inaugurated the six-man committee to look into the root causes of the crisis in Newman and Demsa local governments and provide suggestions for ways to mediate the crisis and forestall future occurrence. Amin Udilegrum Pau, 2-6 News.